Conversations of Liberty North. Um, welcome to week 21 while we are all in quarantine during the coronavirus. Uh, we are making the best of the situation and even though we can't see you in person, we are able to see you virtually through this amazing internet. I Hallelujah. Mean, <laughs> we've had to institute some new rules in our house like no you can't wear those pajamas for three days in a row. But other than that, um, we're enjoying our time together and I hope you guys are making the best of your situation as well. Um, here's the good news. This did not happen during week one where you were not able to get equipped um, to go ahead and teach this memory work at your house, but we have had 20 weeks to equip you and train you up for this moment. So you guys will be fantastic at this. Did we're gonna make four weeks left. Uh -huh. oh. We're gonna make this super easy for you. You only are doing this for four weeks virtually and it'll fly by. Just use this time to enjoy the time with your kids. And if you have any questions, your tutors and your director, we're here to answer anything that you might have a question about, okay? We're gonna make it easy. If you don't like these ideas, go do something else yourself. You are the teacher. We're just here to help inspire you, okay? So we're gonna start with our memory work. I'm going to give you an example of what you can do at home with all your kids. If you decide you wanna do something different, go for it um, and do it seven times, just like we do on community day. Make sure you repeat it seven times. And we know that whenever we're trying to memorize things, if we are creating those memory pegs through play, it makes it so much easier for your kids to remember future in the future. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with our history sentence. I have John Riley, he's gonna be my, my assistant Oprah today. Again. Yep, so history. Tell me about the end of the Cold War. In the 1980s, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and American President Ronald Reagan worked together to end the Cold War, lessen big government, and strengthen the conservative movement. So here's the actions that we're going to have. In the 1980s, so 1980s, and then there's some music. Ooh, British Prime Minister, the British drink a lot of tea, right? British Prime Minister. Margaret Thatcher and American Thank President Ronald Reagan, and it goes along so well with the music, Ronald Reagan, worked together to end the Cold War, lessen big government, and strengthen the conservative movement. Okay, do the actions again with me. Tell me about the end of the Cold War in the 1980s. 1980s. Ooh, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and American President Ronald Reagan worked together to end the Cold War, lessen big government, and strengthen the conservative movement. All right, there's your history, guys. Next, we are going to do. Latin. It's just a repeat. Whatever you guys were doing in class to help you remember what the pluperfect tense was, please keep that up. I'm going to give you the handy suggestion of it's the pluperfect sense, tense, which sounds like the blue perfect tense. So I imagined, I imagined a blue arrow with my class. So, because especially because the first word is arum, it sounds like an arrow. So we're going to pretend like we're firing off an arrow, and we're gonna miss it sometimes, and then we're gonna hit it at the very end. So we're going, Aram, Eros, Eret, Aramis, Eretus, Erunt. First conjugation, pluperfect tense. Okay, that is our Latin. Um, English, everybody has a ball laying around the house. We're gonna do, what is a conjunction? A conjunction is a word used to connect words, what? phrases, it's or clauses together. I am We're going to start off with one person. A conjunction is a word used to connect words, phrases, or clauses together. All right. Easy enough, right? Same okay. Easy. That's English. Okay. Math. This one is really wordy, but John Riley is up for the task. So we're going to do the associative law for addition states, open parentheses, A plus B, 
closing parentheses, plus C, equals A plus, opening parentheses, B plus C, closing parentheses. What I would suggest at home, we're going to keep the stick and sand. You can go outside and you can write this out with a stick and sand outside. You can use sidewalk chalk. We're allowed to go outside, guys, just into our front yards. We can use sidewalk chalk. Or if it's rainy like it was today, you can just use an Expo marker, an erasable surface like a window, and oh, that'd be fantastic. you can start having races with your kid to see um, who can do their associative law the fastest. Um, if you have older kids, have them write it out first and then have the younger kids trace over it. Um, if you have no older kids and you just have younger kids, just write it out yourself and say it with them and then have the younger kids go over and trace okay. it. So, John Riley, you ready? Do you want to do the plus or a minus? You're going to do the associative law for addition first. So, the associative law for addition is, is open parentheses, parentheses A plus B, B closing parentheses, parentheses plus C equals A open uh, or plus plus, plus, uh, plus open parentheses B, B plus uh, plus C Closing parentheses. And then you'll do the same thing for the associative law for multiplication. Easy enough. Into times. Exactly. And wherever you had your addition, you're going to go ahead and make it into subtraction. Multiplication. Okay? I, subtraction. <laughs> I don't know. I say weird things too. All right. So that what? is your associative law for addition and multiplication. Um, just go over it seven times, have races with it, trace it over if you have younger kids and everything. Make it super easy and super fun. Okay, our next one is going to be geography for Central America. Central America geography, you all have these amazing guides at your house, right? I need glasses to see it. You all have your, you all have your maps in the back of the book. Right here is Central America. This tiny okay. little box. On page 172. Central America, I would make this super easy. Just point to them. You can go ahead and do the version that's already has the names written on there for you. But just point to it. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua. Okay? Pointed it out. Now John Riley will do it. Boom. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, so. and Nicaragua. They're really tiny. I still okay. can't see it. You might want to get like a blown up version of this whole map. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do it again. Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Honduras El Salvador, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Point out to your kids, hey, what are some things that you notice about the shape of Belize? What are some things that you notice about the shape of Guatemala? And so on and so forth. Um, I would start off slow and then go to the blank side and try to do it the blank side. Okay, um, Belize, Guatemala, wait, Guatemala, Guatemala, um, Honduras, Honduras, is there something right there? El, El Salvador, El Salvador, and mm, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah, okay. Nicaragua. Okay, Nicaragua. Sorry. All right. So, anyways, geography will be really easy. Just look at the map. Find the places on there. Recognize how the shapes differ from each other so you can find it later. Okay? And then we have my favorite one is science. What is the third law of thermodynamics? This one's fun. Mm -hmm. The third law of thermodynamics explains that it is impossible, impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. temperature. We're going to do this to the song of Imagine Dragons. Um, so radioactive. radioactive. Okay? What is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics explains that it is impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. What is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics explains that it is impossible to reach the state of absolute zero temperature. What is the third law? What is the third law? Thermodynamics, thermodynamics. All right, that's all of your new grammar. Go by really, really fast. All of your new grammar. I am going
going to create a separate YouTube video that goes through our presidents because I was breaking this up for our class, for the Masters 2 class, and I believe Ms. Electra's class was also breaking this up as well and learning a few presidents at a time. So I'm going to go and create another YouTube video that has the actions for all the presidents so that you guys can start going through them and you'll have them all memorized by week 24. Because this week's presidents for my class was going to be Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, and Truman. Roosevelt. And I will put actions on there so you guys can go and do that in the future as well. All right. Again, we miss you all. We wish we weren't in quarantine, but we're going to make the best of the situation. I will see you after this very long extended break. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of you in the summertime. And we will have a chance to reconnect. I'll see you later. Take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.